hello friends welcome to day ops tutorial and in this video lecture we will learn docker stack so in my previous video we have learned how to create a single service in a docker swarm mode but if you have requirement to create a multiple service like you have to uh, want to create a service for mysql and wordpress or node.js or uh, nginx so how you will create a multiple service we have to create a one by one service and map each other so it is very difficult task so for that one we have the docker stack is there so docker stack is using a compose yml file in that file we have to provide a docker stack functionality and provide our services that we have to create in a docker swarm mode and once we execute the docker stack all the services will be created in the different host machine so so you have the question is what is the difference between compose docker compose file and docker stack file so docker compose file will be working on the single host machine and if you want to create a if you want to execute a docker compose file in a swarm mode it will be give an error that the docker compose file will not work on the docker swarm mode but if we still execute that compose file it will be generate all the services into the manager node it will not create any service into the worker node and the another difference is docker compose and stake is the sum of the functionality of a docker stake will not work into the compose file so only that is only working on the docker stake so this is the difference we have so to start a docker stack first we have to create a docker swarm mode okay so we have the two machine uh, one is work as a manager and this is work as a worker so let's create a docker swarm so first check the docker swarm is active or not so we have the command is docker docker info so we can see in the details the docker swarm is active or not so we can see here the docker swarm is inactive ok so let's clear this so first we have to active the docker swarm mode we have the command is docker swarm init so once we execute this command the docker swarm will be initialized and it will generate a token so we need a token for a worker so for that one we have to create a command is docker swarm join token and we need a token for worker so we have this command so docker swarm join hyphen token worker so once we execute this command it will give a token for a worker so copy this command and go to their worker node and execute this command so once we execute this command this node will join as a worker so let's check docker node ls so we can see here this is work as a manager is manager status is the leader and the another is working that we have the ip address 172.31.45.21 is working as a worker so let's clear this and uh, i have already created a uh, one yml file so let's go to that folder so we can see here in this yml file what we have defined we have created a one service for nginx and one service for redis so we have the two services that present in our compose file so let's try to execute this compose file using docker compose command and let's see this file will be available into the every host or not sorry this compose service will be available into the every host or not so we have the command is docker compose up minus d so once we execute this command it will give a warning that the service use web is deploy key so the deploy is a keyword that is support for the stack it is not working on the docker swarm mode and we can see here the another warning is docker engine you are using 
a swarm mode so docker compose does not support a swarm mode so let's check docker ps and we can see here it will create a two service is nginx and redis into the manager node but it will not create any service into the worker node so let's go to the worker and check docker ps so we can see here there is not a service will be created into the worker node so it is the reason is the docker compose will not work on the docker swarm mode so let's down the all the service docker compose down so all the service will be down okay so clear this now let's understand what are the commands for the docker stack so docker stack so we have the four command is deploy a deploy a new stack ls is a list of stack ps that the task present on the stack remove if you want to remove the stack and services that present in the stack okay so let's execute each command one by one and understand the docker stack so let's clear this the first so the first command is in the docker stack is deploy so let's execute this command the command is docker stack deploy hyphen c and we have to provide a docker file here docker compose file name and the last we have to provide the stack name so you can provide any name here so i am just providing the my stack and once we execute this command a stack will be created and in that stack whatever the service we have to provide in the docker compose file that service will be created under the stack so we can see here creating the service for db and creating the service for web so the next command is list of the stack so how many stack present in my swarm mode so docker stack ls so this command will give the list of the info list of the stack so we can see only one stack is here because we're not running any other stack so the name of stack is my stack how many services running and the orchestration is swarm mode okay now if you want to see in my stack how many services are there okay so for that one we have command is docker stack services ls sorry services and we have to provide the service name here so once we execute this command we can see the information about the service like service id and how many replicas are there and the image name is there okay then another is for that we have created for redis okay so this two command we have learned the next command is if you want to see that how many replicas of the containers is running on worker node or manager so we have the command is docker stack services ps and the stack name sorry so the we have command is docker stack ps and service name so we can see here the nginx we have the three nginx container so that container is running on the two containers is running on uh, sorry the redis is running on the 172.31 that is our worker and the rest are working on our manager node so if you want to check how many containers are running in my manager so we can see here the two containers are running in my manager node and if you want to see the worker node so we can see here the two containers are running into worker node okay so let's go to the next command the next command is remove so before go to the remove let's understand uh, let's check the docker compose file again so we can define the replicas is 3 and restart policy here and condition on failure okay so this is properties for nginx so let's fail any one containers docker ps 
and I want to kill this container so we have the command is docker kill okay docker ps now you can see the container is showing one okay if you run again so we, you can see here the one container is created so this is possible because we have created the restart policy okay so let's clear this one and now the last command is in the stack is remove so docker stack ls and if you want to remove this stack we have command is docker stack remove and stack name so once we execute this command all the services and stack will be removed from the swarm mode so guys this is the example for the docker uh, stack and uh, please like and subscribe my youtube channel for more upcoming videos thank you